First of all, I'm going to recap by putting that x equals sine t. And I'm going to call that equation 1. And I'm going to also call equation 2 y equals the sine of t plus pi upon 6. OK, so we'll call that 2. OK, now in order to get the equation of the tangent, I need to find the gradient at any point on the curve. That means find dy dx. And we should know that uh, to find dy dx, when we've got parametric uh, equations, that we've got to find dx by dt and dy by dt first of all. So first of all then I'm going to differentiate uh, number 1, so that's going to give me that therefore dx by dt and differentiating sine t is always cos, so that's cos of t and we have that dy by dt will equal and the differential of sine of anything here is going to be cos of this function so that would be cos of t plus pi upon 6 and then I have to differentiate uh, with respect to t this function here and that would be 1 okay I actually use the chain rule to differentiate this so that's what I get tidying that up I get that this becomes cos of t plus pi upon 6 okay now the next thing I have to do is find dy by dx then so therefore we should know that dy by dx is the result of using the chain rule and that would be dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx some people may like to think of this as dy by dt divided by dx by dt just turning that function this function at the end dt by dx upside down whatever way you work this we're going to have dy by dt which is the cos of t plus pi upon 6 so put that in cos of t plus pi upon 6 okay and all that is going to be divided by let's just put that over there dx by dt so that is cos t there so cos t okay now we're looking at the equation of the tangent we need to get the gradient of the tangent then at the point where t is pi upon 6 so I'm going to say then when t equals pi upon 6 we're going to get the gradient so we'll have dy by dx that will equal I'm just going to put pi upon 6 in here so you'll have pi upon 6 plus another pi upon 6 that's 2 pi on 6 or pi upon 3 so that's the cos of pi on 3 okay and that is divided by and we put t equals pi upon 6 in the bottom we'll have cos of pi upon 6 okay so put that there let's just bring that up a bit pi upon 6 and put that in brackets there we go okay so we should know these uh, values the cos of pi upon 3 I like to think of pi upon 3 is 60 I seem to work better from that cos of 60 should know your triangle let's just recap your triangle with the trig ratios so if we draw a triangle in like so okay assuming that's 60 degrees that one would be 30 degrees let's put it outside there okay and the ratios of the sides should be 1 is to 2 is to root 3 okay so that's just off the side there so we can refer to that so the cos of pi upon 3 or the cos of 60 that's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse half okay so we have a half and we're dividing that by the cos of pi upon 6, the cos of 30, 
which is adjacent over the hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. So that's root 3 over 2. And if we multiply top and bottom by 2, we just end up with 1 over root 3. So that's the gradient of our tangent when t equals pi upon 6. Now for a tangent, a tangent is a straight line and any straight line has the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So I need a point on that line and so I need to get my x1, y1 coordinates when t is pi upon 6. So I can work out my x coordinates just by saying that also x we know equals sine of t, so that would be the sine of pi upon 6. In other words, the sine of 30 degrees and the sine of 30 degrees opposite over hypotenuse here. So that's 1 over 2, a half. So that's going to equal a half. Okay. And we also need the y coordinate. So I just put and the y coordinate will be, remember y was always equal to the sine of t plus pi upon 6, t being pi upon 6 plus another pi upon 6. So that's 2 pi upon 6 or pi upon 3. And pi upon 3 is 60 degrees. The sine of 60 is opposite over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. So that's going to be root 3 over 2. OK, I'm nearly there now. I can, I've got enough to work out the equation of the tangent. So what I'll do is just write down here that therefore the equation OK, equation of tangent. Just write an intro rather than just stating the equation of the tangent. The equation of the tangent, uh, let's say at t equals pi upon 6, is... OK. So it's going to be y minus y1. y minus the y1 coordinate is root 3 over 2. So that would be root 3 over 2 equals the gradient m and the gradient there it is up there 1 over root 3 so it's going to be 1 over root 3 times x minus x1 and the x1 value was 1 half okay now the question said find an equation of the tangent so an equation we have one here so that ought to be sufficient just in case, though, I'm going to tidy this up by multiplying through by 2 root 3. And if I multiply through by 2 root 3, what I'm going to get is 2y root 3, or 2 root 3y, that would look better, obviously, 2 root 3y minus, and then if I multiply this term by 2 root 3, it's just going to be minus uh, 3, okay, equals... And then multiplying this bracket out by 2 root 3. The root 3 is cancelled, so it's just multiplying it out by 2. So we're going to get 2 lots of x, that's 2x, and 2 lots of negative half, that's minus 1. OK, and then if I just add 3 to both sides, I'm going to have 2 root 3y equals 2x, and minus 1, add the 3, comes to plus 2. Also notice actually that I could divide through by 2 here. So that's going to give me root 3 y equals x plus 1. Anyway, it said, as I say, it said find an equation of the tangent. So any one of these versions should be OK. And if you did that, that's worth 6 marks. So you can award yourself 6 marks for that.